Hi fitness friends, today we're going to take on a booty building workout written by our dear fitness friend Lanula. So if you like this workout, please tell her in the comments section. Alright, I have made some modifications to this routine. They will be written in the breakdown. Lanula's original routine will be in the parentheses, so if you want to tackle that, you can go ahead and do what's in the parentheses instead of what I'm doing. Alright, I will be using a heavy weight, a medium weight. I'll have my elevation set at 24 inches for the box jumps, and then I'll lower it to 16 or 12 inches to do some Bulgarians and step ups, probably 16. If you have a chair or a coffee table or something sturdy that you can use that is right around 18 inches, that'll be perfect for you to do this routine. All right, get yourself warmed up, get some water, and let's get ready to build our booties. All right, everyone, I hope you're all warmed up and ready to build that booty. Let's start right in with our first group. We're doing sumo deadlifts for 10 reps and pistol squats for 10 reps on each leg. Those are our two 10 rep moves, and then we have a 50 rep move, which is tornado switch lunges. Let's not think about those yet. <laughs> I'm going to put my weighted vest on for the sumo deadlifts and keep it on for the curtsy lunges. I will be taking it off for the tornado switch lunges. <laughs> All right, grab your weights. I'm going heavy, 24 pounds in each hand. Sumo deadlifts, your knees are out wide, your toes are out wide. Their knees are bent a little bit more than a traditional deadlift. deadlift. Going down and up, keeping your weights close to your body for 10. Let's go. One, squeeze your butt. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Set your weights down. Pistols, ten on each leg. If you cannot do a pistol, but you want to try to get a chair, put it behind you. Okay? If that doesn't work for you, hold a light weight out in front of you to help you counterbalance. Or you can put something underneath the heel of the foot that's on the ground. That also helps to counterbalance a little bit. Um, if you have bad knees, pick a different move and do it. Do like plie squats or curtsy lunges or anything else that you would like to do to challenge yourself. This is your routine. Here we go. I'm doing 10 on each leg. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, oh, ten. All right, other leg. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh my goodness, and ten. It's a whole different kind of challenge with this vest on. Okay, we have 50 tornado switch lunges. Basically, this is like alternating curtsy lunges, but you're curtsying the leg in the front and then the leg in the back. So I'm counting with each jump as one. Remember, we have to go through this routine, these three moves one more time. So let's get to 50. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Twenty. Let's go twenty more.
right. Thank goodness this is a group that we only do twice. Okay, back to sumo deadlifts. We have 10. So, put my best back on. Grab your heavy weights and let's do it. Here we go, toes out wide, knees out wide. Squeeze your butt, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice work. Right, kissels. Ten on each leg. Whew. Let's do it. I'm gonna try to keep my best arm here. Here we go. I'm gonna start on this leg this time. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, oh, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Switching legs. Ten on the other side. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. 50 switch lunges or tornado switch lunges. Oops. I know this is hard, but this is the last time you're doing this move, okay? We're gonna move on to group two, so let's get it going. Do it in groups of 10, do it in groups of 20, do it straight through the 50. However you do it, just get it done. Here we go. One, three. Here we go. One, 
Two, keep your hips facing forward. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, set your weights down. Moving on to a lunge back, a touchdown, and a kick. So, you're going to do this as fast as you can. Add a little hop to it if you can. We're going 25 per leg, okay? We have to get to 50. So, I'm gonna keep my vest on for as most, most, the majority of these if I can. Whew, I can't talk to that. Here we go. Lunge back, touchdown, up and kick. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, five more, one. Two, three, four, five. Okay, other side. Here we go. Nine. 
nine, ten.
15. Jumping jacks 
run. Take my vest off because it bounces too much. I'm gonna go for press up jumping jacks. So light, light weight again for me. On the second two rounds, I might do it how I think Lanula might have done this, which would be hold one heavy weight at your chest. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Get that 
don't do that, please. Okay, thank you. All right, weighted jumping jacks, 50. Last round, I'm gonna hold the one single weight at my chest again. All right, let's do it. So round four. We have to do five rounds of it. We're doing Bulgarians and weighted step ups. Okay, those are our two rep based moves. So we'll be doing 10 on each leg for both. So this is going to be our longest group. And depending on how much weight you use, maybe your hardest. Okay. Um, our 50 rep move is, I don't even remember, mountain climbers. Okay. I say that like it's no big deal. 50 mountain climbers, five times two. You got it. <laughs> okay. Let's go. I'm holding my full 24 pounds and my weighted vest for these Bulgarians. We'll see how many reps I can get through with this amount of weight. My plyo box is set to 16 inches. Step far enough away from it so that you will not bang your shin on the way down. All right, and your knee doesn't go over your toe. We're doing 10. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch legs. Ten on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you don't have an elevation, you're going to be doing forward lunges for the step ups and just split lunges on the ground for the Bulgarians, okay? So you're staying in that lunge, lunge position and going up and down. All right, for the step ups, I'm leaving my leg up on the bench, doing 10, then switching legs. So let's go. One. Two, I'm gonna keep my best off. Making my balance really awkward. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Fifty mountain climbers. Get down, spread it out, let's go. One, two, three, four. 20. Okay, 
One thing I should mention is I counted each leg forward as one. I guarantee you Lunula did not do that. <laughs> so I'm doing that for time's sake. And because we're doing double reps on each leg here, that's just how I'm gonna do my workout. Remember, modify the suit how you wanna work out. So gotta do what you wanna do. Sorry guys if you feel like I'm cheating. I'm just counting one and one. Okay, let's do it. Half of you are probably cheering, the other half of you are probably like, come on, Julia. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch legs. Ten on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh. All right, taking this off. By the way, that's a sixty pound Bulgarians. I'm going. So, uh, so I can jip myself on the mountain climbers. <laughs> that's my that's my reasoning. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Mountain climbers for fifty. Seven, 
nine and ten. Oh my goodness. Fifty mountain climbers. We're closing in. Here we go. Section was killer. 
You only have 10 more on each leg. You can do this. Deep breath. Let's go. Step it out. Down for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, and ten. Okay, step ups. Ten on each leg. Come on, this is it. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, guys, 50 mountain climbers. Let's do it. I'll do the count correctly this time. Get down. One, two, three, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. <laughs> Congratulations. We made it through the grueling butt building groups. Okay, we have two rounds of Tabata between us and the end of this. So, whew. push pause, take a literally like one minute break and get up and let's finish this out. So we have four moves that I'm breaking into Tabata pairs. If you're doing this like Linda leg, you're doing each move as a full round of Tabata. That's eight rounds per move. We're doing it paired up, so only four rounds per move, okay? So four minutes per pair, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Starting with a plyo curtsy lunge to a plank hop in the center, and I'm adding a push-up, only because I felt really wrong to do a Linda routine without a push-up in it. So, 10 second countdown is started. Our second move in this Tabata pair is a weighted switch lunge. So I'm gonna hold 12 pounds in each hand. So, fly up, curtsy back, up in the center, plank, hop it down, push up, hop it back in, fly up, curtsy, other side. Push up. So if you don't wanna do a push up, you stick with Lemuel's original routine, okay? Okay, weighted switch lunges. I'm going 12 pounds in each hand. Let's go. 20 seconds.
If you don't want to do a hop in this, you're just doing front lunges. Or you can do pendulums, which would be a forward backward lunge.
holding one single heavy weight at my chest for these last two rounds of weighted jumping jacks. 24 pounds. Let's go. This is so much harder for me. Bye. <laughs>